Hey everyone, Jeremiah here with Severian Web Studio, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about Squarespace migrations, and specifically a huge mistake that people make when they move from Squarespace to another platform, and this actually can be relevant to just about any platform if you're moving from one to another, and this is something that gets overlooked a lot if you are just, you know, if this is your first uh, migration from one platform to another, if you've never done anything like this before, um, or if you're just not thinking about the SEO impact that you could have when migrating from one flat platform to another. And this major thing is is uh, taking care of redirects and taking care of uh, any, any cases where the structure, the URL structure is different between one tool and another. And this is a really big thing with Squarespace blogs and the way that they format them and how they are different than the way that WordPress or Webflow or any other platform will structure those URLs. And so that's something that is huge and something that also happens really easily if somebody doesn't know what they're doing or you, you know, you're not paying attention, you're not aware of, this, aware of this, is that you are designing pages and you end up changing the URL of a page without even realizing it. Um, and, and this can lead to a bunch of 404s happening, Google being confused as to where your pages have gone. Um, and so this is a huge problem that people have when they are migrating from one platform to another. And this is why I address this very much so in the front of my course, Graduating Squarespace, where I walk through migrating a blog from Squarespace to WordPress, and I show you a whole like breakdown uh, cheat sheet of how to you know structure your URLs and how to make sure that you get all this information across so that when you're done migrating, Google still knows where everything is and can still understand. And I mean, I wrote probably somewhere north of 50 to 70 redirects um, for this most recent migration. Um, and this was, I can show you here real quick. So so uh, I moved uh, Will Gibbons site from Squarespace to WordPress. And so right now that you're, what you're seeing here is on WordPress on the Carbonate theme, the fastest theme for content-based businesses. And so just about well, actually, I should, shouldn't say just about. Every single post had to be changed because if you look here, this uh, we cleaned up the URLs to have them just be a very clean slate. So if you look up here where my mouse is, previously when it was on Squarespace, it used to be slash blog, and then it was the article name. And uh, so that was something that needed to be changed so that every single entry that had blog, we had it redirected to this cleaner URL. Um, not only that, but we had to move over all of the images, and um, I mean, there's, there's a whole lot to it. Um, it's not quite as simple as just moving from one platform to the other. And so if you are trying to kind of cobble all this stuff together, maybe you are looking to move from Squarespace to WordPress, then I'd highly recommend checking out my Soup to Nuts course, Graduating Squarespace. I walk you through this entire migration from Squarespace to WordPress. You get to look over my shoulder the whole time as I move over this site and all of the little nuances that are involved in it. And uh, I mean, there's many hours of, of content here, as you can see, moving from Squarespace to WordPress can have a huge benefit to site speed. Uh, depending on what plugins and themes you're using, which is why I show you how to set up the craziest, fastest theme available, Carbonate, and what plugins to, to use and what hosting to use, you know, avoiding your SEO mistakes that, like I am speaking about, um, you'll get to swipe my SEO migration cheat sheet, which is what it would prevent you from taking that number one mistake that most people make in moving their Squarespace website. Um, this will help make sure that all of your SEO settings remain intact and that Google still knows where you are afterwards. And if you use the coupon code YouTube, you'll get 20% off this course. 
Um, I, I just couldn't see having this on uh, on YouTube because this is, you know, I mean, I think it's something like 15 videos and many hours of content here to help you get through. You can preview some of the intro modules here. Um, and I will be, you know, sharing a few more videos to go through a few things. But um, this is a really in-depth course where I go through everything um, from the beginning to end. And there is a 100% money-back guarantee if you're unhappy with any of it. Um, but that is just one of the, the many mistakes that can be made. But this is the most major one is not taking into consideration URL redirects and just copying things over without even realizing that you're going to be slipping in Google rankings if you don't uh, take that into consideration. I uh, hope this is helpful. Hopefully, uh, you know, this has kind of helped you see that maybe you need to be thinking more meticulously, carefully about making the transition from Squarespace to WordPress if you're going to be doing so and uh, how you can go about doing that. All right, I'll link in, link in the description below for that course if you're interested in it. Um, again, 20% off the course if you use the code YouTube. All right, thank you and hope you have a great day.